Okay, Doc T here, and Melissa's right over there. Hello. And uh, we just pulled over, it's uh, almost 5.30 down here in South Florida, 80 degrees for all you guys in the rest of the country that are freezing to death. Um, I'm trying a new format, that this might look good. Uh, I was told yesterday that being vertical is better than being horizontal, so we're giving this a try and see if it's any better. Anyway, um, we met a guy named Bobby today. He's also a tea floater slash farrier down here who is in lockstep with what we believe in, and it was so great to meet another guy, a fellow equine dentist, who believes in horsemanship and doing the right thing for the horse. Um, we had several horses today. We've been working all day down here in South Florida. It's been really great, but um, we also looked into the American College of Veterinary Dentistry, which has a whole certification or board certification for becoming a certified equine dentistry. And we found that it's not in alignment with what we believe, what we notice, and what we feel is important for the horse. And for that reason, uh, Melissa and I have decided that we're going to work on a, a new project starting in January, where we're going to start to bring to you the horse owner, the, the person who really has the horses, who cares about what they're getting, and try to discuss the difference between routine maintenance of the horse, the fundamentals of uh, dentistry and uh, floating teeth, and compare that with uh, some of the uh, advanced techniques that they're pronouncing as being important for uh, dental, dental care in the veterinary profession and try and put it out in a very clear and concise way having you ask questions so if you're watching this you're gonna hear for the first time and you're gonna hear over and over again we're gonna request that you send us in video format uh, questions that you want asked um, answered pardon me uh, that are prominent in your mind about equine dentistry and horses any question will be good. Uh, we'll try and answer both Melissa and I in a special uh, live broadcast or, or recorded broadcast where we get to get the truth out uh, or at least have you learn that there are two different ways of looking at things so you can use your own mind and make your own decisions about some, what's important for you and your horse. All right, so that's kind of really exciting for us. Um, anyway, that's all I got to say. We got another two hours of driving, so I just want to hang up and get going. All right, uh, thanks you guys, and we'll have one more broadcast for the Christmas um, uh, break, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.